One more Excel question that came up into a job interview. Let's see how can we solve this problem. Let's see how can we do it. And I really hope this video can help you out if you're gonna do a job interview and uh, you have over there a Excel question or a Excel test. I really hope this video can help you out. So let's start here reading this message that we have here. How many sales did John make to Kentucky State? The answer must be in the blue area. The answer must be a function. Okay. So here we basically need to count how many times John made a sale, for example, but not all the sales of John, but the sales that match with the Kentucky state. Okay, so we basically need to count, but we need to count with a criteria, or in this case, two criteria, John and Kentucky, for example, two conditions. We have here in this spreadsheet, in this yellow table here, the date, the customer name, the state, the salesperson, and then the total sold. Here, basically, I don't need to use the column A, neither the column B, and neither the column E, for example. So as you guys can see here, the only two columns that I'm going to use to solve this problem is the column C and column D. So all these columns that I have here are not useful, for example. They are just here to, to fool you, let's say that way. But here, let's say something. Let's see. Uh, I, want, I need to count how many sales did John make for the Kentucky State. So basically, let's start here counting how many times the John's names appeared, for example. So one time here, another one here, another one here, and uh, here, and here, for example. So let's say, I know that my spreadsheet contains have a lot of rows, but let's take just a look, a close look here. John appears here one time, the second time, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one, for example. But not every time here I can count the John name and use it as the result, for example, because we cannot, we need to also check the state. If John make a sales to Connecticut, for example, it doesn't count because I only need to count if John makes uh, made a sale to Kentucky, for example. So these two conditions need to be met, for example. To do it, instead of count manually the John's name, or because we can't do it, of course, because we need to use a function. So functions that can count for us is, let's say, equal sign and then count. The count a function maybe can help you, but the problem with the count a function is count the numbers of cells in a range that is not empty. So if I use the count a function, it's going to count everything. It's not going to count just the John names and the Kentucky state. No, it's going to count everything. It cannot help us because I need to add a criteria here. I need to input a criteria. Not one criteria, but two, two conditions. Uh, the count if function maybe can help, but the problem with the count if function is I can add one criteria, but just one, one criteria. Of course, I can count how many times the John's name appears in the list. Uh, okay, it's a good thing, but I can't count every time John's name appears in the list, but every time John's name with a sales for Kentucky states appears, so I have two conditions. That way I cannot use the count if function, but I can use here the count ifs function, because with the count ifs function I can add as many as criteria as I need. These functions can help me, so let me just double click here. One, two. The first thing that uh, the count if function is asking me is my first criteria range. I'm going to use as my first criteria range the column C, for example, the state. So I'm going to select here the entire column C. And then I'm going to press comma. Now the count if function is asking me the criteria one, the first criteria. As I just select as my criteria range, the first criteria range, the states, I need to use as first criteria the state name. So let me just type it in Kentucky, but before I do it, I need to input the Kentucky name in between quotations marks. So quote and then can tuck close quotations unquote comma. Now I need to select here my criteria range number two and I'm going to select the entire column D. Of course, I can select uh, just a specific range, for example, like this. But uh, it's better, it's much more easy to just select the entire column D, for example. Comma again. Now I need to input here my criteria number two. My criteria number two is the John, is John names. And I need to quote John, unquote. Okay, put it in between quotations mark. 
Now I can, I can close parentheses and then press enter. And as you guys can see, 75 is the correct result. 75 times the John names appear in the list and it also appears with uh, sales to Kentucky, for example. So let's try to, okay, the, the problem is already solved it, but let's make a manual look here and see if we can also see this John and Kentucky appearing in the same row, for example. So I'm gonna apply here a filter, Control Shift L, for example, and I'm gonna filter just to Kentucky, for example, here, okay? And also for John's name, for example, here. Okay, and as you guys can see, there's a lot of rows that contain the John's names and also the Kentuck state. So this is what count ifs function did for us. So it's count whenever I have here the Kentuck state and at the same time, the John's name in the same row. So I hope you guys, this video can help you out with the solving this problem that came up into a job interview. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next video, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.